Hey there, Santi here. In this series of videos, I sat down with my girlfriend Grace and I taught her Tana. In this first video is her first impressions. In the next one is setting up a little bit of a simple task management to-do system in Tana, which I love doing. Now, if you do want to dig deeper, I put together a Tana course I'm very happy with. And my goal is to help you save as much time as possible learning Tana from day one, meaning from the day that you get your invite. In case you haven't gotten your invite, I might be able to help my core students with that. So do check out the description for more info and updates on that. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Here we have a special guest, mm -hmm. my girlfriend Grace. Say hi. Hello. And yeah, today I'm very excited to show her Tana. She just has a brand new account and I'm going to walk her through it as a beginner. And hopefully that'd be helpful to you. So yeah, thank you for being here. No, thanks for teaching me. I'm looking forward to my masterclass. Awesome. So, you know, like a bit of background just for people so that they know what has been your experience with other apps. Like, which apps have you used? Obviously, she live, we live together. I tell her all about, <laughs> all about the apps that I'm using all the time, but she hasn't used everything that I that I always talk about. So what do you like? What don't you like? So Yeah, okay. Um, so the two main ones that I use are Obsidian and Amazing Marvin. Obsidian is great for making notes about stuff and for like doing diary entries and everything because it's note-taking. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this kind gentleman has taught me how to use it. And also Amazing Marvin is just really good for me for like task management. So I use it for like home life and for work and I'm able to divide everything up really nicely. So I do like that one a lot. Nice. Yeah. And with Tana, I'm very excited to develop my own system in there that integrates notes and tasks. So that's definitely what I want to show uh, Grace. And we'll see if that's something that she'll end up using in the long term, perhaps replacing and unifying these other apps that she used, or mm -hmm. if this is rather just an interesting experience for you to see what it's like to get started from day one, right? So let's get into Tana and yeah, let's walk you through everything. So this is day one. This is what Tana looks like as soon as you get started. All right. So yeah. Okay. So first, ask me any questions about the instructions that that could actually be helpful yeah perfect. daily scratch pads so i know that's something that you use on uh log sick you have like your daily notes and i don't do anything like that at the moment mm -hmm. so is this like the same thing yeah like it is it is pretty much the same thing grace hasn't used you haven't used log sick right you, you just heard me talk a lot about it yeah yeah so yeah daily pages daily notes is the same concept but i would say in tana is a bit more powerful and i'll show you why but mm -hmm. But yeah, what else intrigues you? So I can see on the side panel, you've got calendar and todos, <laughs> to do's. <laughs> but I always read it in the Spanish. That's hilarious, yeah, because like we live in Ecuador. I'm from Ecuador. She lives here with me. And so yeah, we speak Spanish and yeah, to do's. Like todos in Spanish means like everything. Like, yeah, it, it just means everything. So it is hilarious. I always read that the same way. <laughs> but yeah, that's hilarious. Cool. So yeah, what else? Calendar, be interested to know how that works mm -hmm. in this because I haven't, there is a calendar in Amazing Marvin, but I don't use it very much. Yeah, that's pretty interesting because the calendar in here is not really a real calendar. It's just a place where all the daily notes are stored. Oh, you can go quite far down. Ooh. So presumably it will only add items to here if like, you've actually written in it. And as yeah. you can see here, you also have go to date so you can Let's say that we want to go, let's just go to Tuesday, for instance, right? And, and then, that will create a new week. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Log into Tana, done. Still Tana as progressive web app for easy access. Okay, so that, if you click on this button right here, it just installs Tana because this is Grace's account. Let's just click on it. Let's see what happens because I already have it installed. <laughs> yeah. Ah, there it is. It worked. Oh, wow. That's so quick. <laughs> what? How is that? I've just done that for the first... I'm doing it on my laptop Oh, yeah, well. yeah. So we're kind of showing my computer, which is Grace's account, but she also has her laptop in here. So it's just crazy because like anything she does in here automatically shows in there. But yeah, so when you click on that, it's pretty nice because it, it just creates this window that is an installation, right? So yeah, what was your first impression on that? That was... what I don't understand. Is that like downloaded onto my computer now? Yeah, so what's crazy about it is that if, if you can see... Oh, that was so fast, though. <laughs> yeah, we were in, like, Google Chrome. That was... So it's in, it installs it as a progressive web app. That's what that's a, oh, a so proper name. Oh, so it's, like, a new web page. But... Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. But it, it's interesting because, yeah, it's a Chrome app. So it's, yeah. not, it's not like normal traditional apps. Mm. It's rather, like, kind of like a whole window of Chrome. 
that works like an app. So it's pretty yeah, clever. And I like okay. that a lot because that makes it like cross-platform, meaning you can use this on a Mac, Windows, Linux. I haven't seen that before. Yeah. <laughs> that just blew my mind. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, it was cool that that, that you like the speed of it because that's the cool thing about it. And now Easily we... entertained. <laughs> <laughs> and you can definitely open it like a, like a normal app. Okay, so now you can just click that. Awesome. Done. Yeah, keep going through the next one. Click this bullet to learn basic navigation. All right. Right-click bullet to open it in a new window. That was right-click, wasn't it? Yep. Open a new panel. Okay, expand a node by clicking the chevron to the left. This bad boy, or? The chevron, a weird name, but it just means a little arrow thingy. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what it meant. So can you keep like expanding yeah. it? Uh -huh. Oh, okay, so that's how you do that. Nice. Uh -huh. Use tab to indent a node under another node. Ah, so that inlines it? Indents it. Indents it. And how do you like unindent it? Doesn't tell you? Well, I'll tell you. So it's sheep tab. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm, it's just... Exactly. Use hashtag to apply or create tags. Mm, sheep three. Yep. Mm. Ah, and then they appear here. What happens if I click on that? Oh. Yep. Okay, hey, that's nice. You can just go back in the arrow there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Use at to insert a reference to a node. I don't know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, that's what I'll explain. The reference to a node. Don't worry about that. Skip that one. I'll, I'll, yeah, it's not very clear Like if you're not familiar with this concept. Uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> My knowledge is just to open the command line. Oh, so that means like you can, it's a bit like Notion. You mm -hmm. can choose what to do. That's exactly mm. it. Yeah, a list of everything that you can do. And the shortcuts just for reference in there, so. There's so much stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. All right, uh, go to your personal workspace. Yeah. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Schema, don't know what that is. Library, yep. don't know what that is in the context of Tana. Yeah. Settings, okay, options. Yeah, don't worry about this right now at all. Maybe just go back. Yeah. Open the help center and keyboard shortcuts list in the top right. This one? Mm hmm Oh, that's nice. Okay, cool. And then that's help. Oh, oh no, I've just opened up loads of stuff. <laughs> How do I exit that? Oh, do I click it? Yeah. Yes, okay. Okay, so which ones were the ones you weren't sure? Like reference? This one definitely confused you? Yeah. Okay, anything else? Maybe some of the stuff in my personal workspace. So in here, like, where are you according to what you think is going on? I'm in my personal workspace. And what is in it? So... It looks the same as this. Exactly, that's it. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's it, that's it. No, don't worry. Like, it's not immediately obvious, I, but that's exactly it. So everything you see on the sidebar, so just type something here, you see, and look what happens. Ooh. That's the idea, right? Anything that you write... Even before I hit enter. Yeah, like it's immediate, right? So anything you write here would go to your sidebar. So. When you go to your name, that's when you control things that are on the sidebar. Your name is a workspace, right? That's mm -hmm. what it's called. So it's like the whole place where absolutely everything you write in it go under one bullet point called Grace. So that's a cool thing about Tana. So yeah, okay, let's get into that a bit. Uh, As you saw, the technical name is Node. So like when you, when I write something here, this little dot right here is called a node. N O D. -E. So a bullet point is a, a node. bullet point. Yeah. Basic. Yeah. <laughs> like I like simplifying it like that because, <laughs> yeah, like if you just go on the street and say like, oh, this is a node, people be like, what are you talking about? Node, it's not. <laughs> so yeah, like I I think at least for getting started, it's okay to call a node a bullet point. Like you'll see why it's more than that. But honestly, like calling it a so bullet point, more. it really is. It's crazy. But like the idea is that your name or your workspace, that's one node. So Everything's just a little dot indented underneath the big bullet point that is your name, your workspace, right? So when we go to today, if we just expanded, okay. I just wanted to show you like 2022. Okay, like... Nodes and nodes and nodes. Exactly. And as you can see, this one has a bit of a surrounding something that lets you know there's, there's content. other things inside. That's yeah. exactly it. So if we expanded, what do you think we'll find? All of the stuff from today. Exactly. So the whole tutorial that appeared automatically goes in there. And yeah, well, so far, what are your thoughts? It's looking good so far. I've put it on light mode on my computer. Yeah. Which I... <laughs> yeah, we have a dark mode here, but yeah, it's in light mode. Somebody likes dark mode. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> no, it looks really good. Just the fact that you can like go further and further and further forever into different things. I mean, I don't have that deep thoughts that I would need to, but... <laughs> <laughs> It's interesting to see how you would categorize stuff and how you would actually organize everything because the layout of Tana gives you a lot of options 
which is cool, but also a bit like, what's the best way to organize your brain? It's interesting what you said. You said you probably won't have the need to go as deep. And I get you, like, it's not always necessary to just go like deeper down one single trait of thought, mm -hmm. but rather like understanding this idea that everything is contained with, within a larger bullet point. And that's that's what really differs it from Rome and Loxic. The fact that Loxic and Rome, they have like different pages. But in here, you just create a bullet point in any context and that is searchable anywhere. You, you, you'll get more of that, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah you need to go through that. <laughs> yeah. Because at the moment, I'm to be honest, I'm kind of thinking like bullet points in Microsoft Word or something. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so, yeah, working out the searchability and how, how you would do that. Like in your daily note, you would have... Mm -hmm. But then how is that not just like trapped in today, Saturday, the 22nd? Yeah. Second? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. I mean, that's, that's a powerful thing about Tana, really, that it doesn't... Technically, it doesn't matter where things go because anything is searchable. Like it just searches across any bullet point across anywhere. And sometimes being able to have created it like on, on 22nd of October, it just means that now the only thing that helps is to know when you created it, but really it doesn't matter where it is. How do you file, like, file stuff then? In what sense? So like in when you have all of your files on your computer, it'll, I'll make like folders. Mm -hmm for different things and then in folders there'd be subfolders. Yeah. So for like films I would have maybe like entertainment films. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or like personal entertainment right. films and that would be like the the filing process in the different yeah. folders. But would that not happen here? Yeah, that's actually a good question because you're talking a bit of a hierarchy, right? Like this goes first, this goes next. Which yeah. is kinda like what's happening with the bullet points, right? Like what we saw like with mm -hmm. your first bullet point going next, going next. And then like, you know, technically this is called a child of this one. And this is a parent of this one, mm -hmm. right? So that's the idea. But then you can also have sibling. So this is a sibling of this one. And you can see that relationship by collapsing it, right? Yeah. So that's pretty interesting. So that hierarchy definitely exists in here. Like it's very similar to the idea of folders. But in order to really categorize things in the way that you're saying, how like films belong to entertainment, that's where tags come in. And, and you're going to see that they're called super tags in here. And yeah, fair name because they just do so much more than just a normal tag. It's not just a searchable way to categorize things. Yeah. It's a way to organize anything. Okay. So you, you'll see that. And I think when we organize our films, that's when you're really going to see the power of that. Great. I really hope you enjoyed this part one. Again, in part two, we're going to talk a little bit more about tasks in Tana. And if you want to dig deeper, do check out my course. Truly appreciate it. I think it's really going to help you get a solid grasp of Tana as soon as you get your invite. And we covered some things in here in the course that we didn't even cover today that we mentioned, such as references, which is a really great experience in Tana. If you come from other apps, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, it's like, wow, this is like a whole nother level. So do check it out. Do appreciate your support if you get it. And with that said, I hope to see you there. So yeah, see you later. Bye. See ya.